Okay, so first of all, if this is just a one-off, just copy and paste the text into a Microsoft Word document and then use that to count the number of words. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to count the number of words in a cell using a formula and then a user-defined function and then a macro. So first of all, the formula we'll start off with is equals len, which will tell you the length of the text or the number of characters in the text string. So if you have just C here, that's one character, and then cat is three characters, and then cat dog is seven characters because it also counts the space. Then the next formula is equals substitute, which will replace existing text with new text in a text string. So the text we're going to use is this text here. Then we're going to replace the old text, which will be a space. And this has to be inside quotation marks. Then we're going to replace this with nothing, which means I need two quotation marks with nothing in between. And this will have the effect of removing all of the spaces. And so you end up with text which looks like this. Then we'll use the len formula again to count the length of this text. Now all these spaces have been removed. Then if you take this number and subtract this number, it will tell you the number of spaces in the text. So here we have one because there is one space in between the words cat and dog. And there will always be one less space than the number of words. So to get the number of words, you need to take the number of spaces and add one. And then we have the number of words in the text. Now I'm going to put this all together in one cell and that formula will be equals len of this text minus the length of the substitute formula when this text has all of the spaces changed to nothing and then close brackets and close brackets again and that will give you the number of spaces then add one to get the number of words then double click to send it down now there's a problem with this formula, which is that if I have an extra space in here, it will think that it is three words because it's just counting the number of spaces. And this is also a problem if you have spaces at the beginning and the end. Now all of a sudden it thinks cat dog is five words. So in order to fix this, we need to put in another formula, the trim formula. And this removes all spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words, which is exactly what we want. And this needs an extra closing bracket in here and then enter. And then this is the formula that we want. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to do this with a user-defined function, which is a way of making customized formulas in Excel. So first of all, you need to go to the Developer tab. If you can't see the Developer tab, you need to right-click and customize the ribbon, and then tick the Developer tab option here. Then once you've got the Developer tab, open up Visual Basic. Then go to Insert and insert a module. Now I'm going to readjust this slightly. Then to create a user-defined function, the first thing you need to type in is function. Then you need to type in what you want the name of the formula to be. So I'm going to call mine word count then open brackets, and then here you need to put what you want the input to the formula to be. And mine is gonna be RNG as range. So the 
the name of the variable is rng and then the type of variable that it is is a range so i'm telling it that the input to the formula will be a cell range and then enter and that will add in the end function and in the middle here we need to put in the formula which will be word count is equal to then it starts off with the len function and then the trim function but you can't just type trim in here because excel won't recognize it trim is slightly different because you need to type in application dot worksheet function dot trim then you can put in the cell range which is rng here but i don't want it to use the cell range i want to use the value inside the cell so i need to put dot value after this then close brackets and close brackets again then we're going to subtract the len formula again and inside visual basic there isn't a substitute formula visual basic uses a slightly different formula which is called replace but it still has the same inputs you first need to put in the text that you want to change so this is going to be rng dot value again then the next thing is what in the text you want to replace so that's going to be quotation mark space quotation mark and then what you want it to be replaced with so two quotation marks with nothing in between then close brackets and close brackets again and then add one if i press enter now it will add in a bunch of spaces and then this is my user defined function so i can save this and it will tell me that i need to change my excel spreadsheet to a macro enabled workbook i'll just say yes to this then go to file and save as and change it here to a macro enabled workbook and save now if i add in a new line here i will be able to use the custom formula that i just made so equals word count and you can see it's popping up here i can select this text and close brackets and enter and then if i double click to send it down you'll see I get the same results as I did here with the other formula. Now, if you want to use this word count formula in another spreadsheet, you need to go back to Visual Basic and then copy this. Then go to the Personal Macro Workbook, which is here, and go to Insert and Insert Module and then we'll control V to paste this function in here and save it. Now, if I open up a different Excel spreadsheet, I will be able to use the word count formula by going to the insert function option, then changing the category to user defined and selecting the personal word count function and okay. Then it will ask me to put in the range which i'll select here and okay and now it's counting the number of words again if you can remember what it's called you can just type it in so equals personal dot xlsv explanation point word count open brackets select this sub here close brackets and enter and then you get the same result as you did before now in addition to doing this as a user defined function you can also do this as a macro so macros always start with sub and then i need to give the macro a name so i will call this word count two this time open and close brackets and enter and that adds in the end sub for me as well then i need to define a variable so i need to define word count as long and 
long means the variable can only be whole numbers. Then I want the same formula as I had up here. So I'm going to copy it and paste it in here. But this time I need to change these values here because I no longer have the range. What I'm going to change it to is selection dot value, which means I'm going to select the cell I want to count the words in before I run the macro. Then the macro will use the selection in order to work out how many words I have. Then at the end, I need a way of showing myself the result. So I'm going to use the, do this using a message box. And the output for the message box will be in quotation marks, there are, and then a space and close quotation marks, then an and a symbol to link up this text to the result. And the result is word count. Then another and symbol and more quotation marks at the end so I can put in the word words. And then this is my macro, so I'm going to save this. And if we go back to my original spreadsheet, I can now select one of these cells and go to macros. And this is the word count to macro, which I just made. And I'm going to run this and I will get a pop-up box telling me that there are two words and okay. Then I will just select another one to show you that this works again and okay. And now it's telling me I have four words. Now, if we go back to Visual Basic, there's actually a, another version of this which you can do. I'll just copy all of this macro again and now we'll make some minor changes to it. So I'm going to call this word count three. And then instead of having the message box here, what I'm going to tell it to do is to put the result into the cell that I have selected. So I'm going to say selection equals word count. Now that I have done this, I need a different way of telling it which cell I want it to count the words in because I can't just use the selection anymore. So I need to define a new variable up here, which I'm going to call RNG again as range. And this is going to be the cell range that I want it to use. Then I'm going to set the range and I'm going to tell it what range to use by using a application input box. And inside the input box, I need a piece of text to tell me what to do. And this will be, please select a cell and then colon and close quotation marks. Then I also need to put in the type here, which will be colon equals eight. So the type is the type of input that you can have in the box and type eight tells the box to expect a cell range. Then I also need to change the selection here back to range because I'm now using that instead of the selection. And then I'm going to save this and then this time I need to select a blank cell, then go to macros and I'll select word count three and run. And the pop-up box will appear asking me to select a cell. So I'll select this one here and okay. And you can see it's counted the number of words and put the result in the cell. Then I'll just do that one more time to demonstrate it. And if I count the number of words in this cell, it's five. Okay, and then instead of having to go to macros and select the macro that I want, I want to have it as an option in the ribbon. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click and customize the ribbon, then change the commands to macros. Then I think I want the macro to be in the review tab. So I'm going to add a new group to this and then rename it. And I will call this 
custom and OK. Then I'll move this up here so it's just underneath proofing. Then make sure this is selected and I'm going to use the word count 2 version of the macro and add this in. Then select this here and rename this as well so that it's just called word count. And I can also choose a symbol. And I think this symbol here is the closest to what I want. And then OK. And then OK again. And now if I go to the Review tab, you can see I have the word count option here in the custom group. So now I can just select a cell and then choose word count and it will count the number of words in that cell. And I will just demonstrate that again. And you can see it's now telling me that I have six words in this cell. Now, this will also work in other Excel spreadsheets. So if I go back to this spreadsheet here, I can now go to review and select the cell that I want and choose word count, and then it will count the number of words. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to count the number of words in a cell in Excel using a formula and then using a user defined function and using macros. Okay, and that is everything.